Okay, my friends, it's time for some piano. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited today because we are going to be doing one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> it's Rainbow Connection from the Muppet movie. You know, the one where Kermit's sitting there with his little banjo and he's like singing that song. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, but before we actually get started, let's do a couple things, okay? If you can like and share this video, you know that helps me, right? It's like the easiest thing that you can do. <laughs> Hit the share button. Let everybody know that you're learning the Rainbow Connection today, and it's so much fun. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, right? Like, I look at my stats on YouTube, and it's like mind-boggling because 79% of you are not subscribed, <laughs> uh, which is crazy because that means that my numbers are probably a lot higher than what they're actually showing me, right? Because if 79% of you are not subscribed and I have 5,300 subscribers, that's a lot of people watching my stuff. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be reminded of lessons and you can help my numbers look better. <laughs> All right, next, um, if you don't mind joining also our Discord. So our Discord server is like the hub of my studio uh, because that's where you get the interaction with me literally on a daily basis. It's so much fun. You're surrounded by really positive other piano learners that are like going through the same thing as you. And it's just nice to be, you know, in a community of people who are working towards a similar goal. So consider joining us on Discord. Um, the invitation link is in the campsite uh, link in this bio, or not the bio, I'm thinking of Instagram. <laughs> the uh, description of this video. All right, and then last but not least, you guys know by now, I am on Patreon, right? So Patreon has been great because um, it's just showing that there are a growing number of people that realize the value of what I'm doing and they are making that monthly financial commitment to me to keep these lessons coming, right? So full length lessons available on YouTube is like unheard of. So if you wanna help support it and keep them coming, consider joining us at Patreon, okay? I've got different tiers from five bucks a month up to $90 a month if you're looking for some private lessons. And I would just love to see you on there. I'm so appreciative of my patrons. <laughs> They're the ones who keep this coming, so. If you want to be on that list, go ahead and visit <laughs> patreon.com slash Izzy Chia, okay? All right. Let's make some music, you guys. Pull out your greatest hits book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Rainbow Connection is such a fun song, okay? So <laughs> um, the Muppet movie came out in the late 70s. Uh, but I was born in the mid 80s. So when I finally got around to seeing it, it was like old news for like my brother and stuff, right? Because he's older than me. So if you're like Gen X or elder millennial, then you know this song, okay? It's so much fun. I, I think the younger generation don't really know it, but that's okay. <laughs> they will know it after this lesson, won't they? <laughs> so turn to page eight in your book, The Rainbow Connection, all right? It's such a good song. Now it's got a really interesting position here um, with our left hand and our right hand. And it's sort of juxtaposing the melody between the two hands, you know, kind of like how it was for Edelweiss. We were, um, notes would begin the melody in the left and then it would transfer up to the right, okay? Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we also have three, four time signature, okay? And it's moderately fast, so eventually you're gonna work towards getting that tempo up. So it feels lively, right? I mean, look, Kermit is sitting on a, a log and he's playing his banjo and singing. It's not like he's singing like a sad song. He's singing something hopeful. It's about the rainbow connection, right? Yeah, I mean, he's got some good questions and it's like a song about life. <laughs> so let's get started, okay? Let's switch to piano view so we can figure out our position, okay? Let's get it. All right, here we go. Here we are. Here is our lovely, lovely piano view. So for our left hand, I am singing a harmonic third to begin. And it looks like our finger one thumb is gonna be on a B, 
That's so random. Okay, do you see that position there? Okay, your thumb, right, uh, left hand, finger one is on a B, and I fan out the rest of my fingers, okay? If you need to pause this video so you can get that hand position just right, you can go ahead and do that, okay? All right, now let's find our right hand. I'm seeing a finger one, but it's not on a C. It's actually on this D here. So the D next to middle C is where our right hand thumb will go. But I also noticed that my pinky five is not on an A. It's actually one step higher on a B. So I'm gonna comfortably stretch my pinky up to hit that B so I can reach that interval of a sixth, okay? All right, so this is that opening hand position, okay? Now before I actually play this hands together, it's kind of hard to do that, I'm gonna just start with my right hand. So I'm gonna put my left hand in my lap, okay? Now we have that open sixth to begin. We also start with an eighth rest, okay? That means it's a short rest, the same value as an eighth note, okay? So when I do the count off, you'll hear what it sounds like, okay? Let's try this. Here we go. One, two, three, ready, and play, rest. Rest, E, C, hold, rest, D, B, D, B, D, rest, E, C, hold. Now measure five, rest, D, G, A, B, third, hold, rest, D, G, G, F sharp and A, hold, rest, D, F sharp, G, hold, D, E, two, three, and tie, two, three, rest, D, G, A, B, third, hold, rest, D, G, G, F sharp and A, harmonic third, rest, D, F sharp, G, G, D, E, two, three, and tie, two, three. Now we're at the top of page nine. We've got the interval of a fifth. Here we go. E, B, E, B, E. Measure 25, F sharp, up to A, F sharp, D, third, two, three, and tie, two, three. Shift your finger one down, C, E, G, F sharp, G, hold, D, D, F sharp, A, F sharp up to G sharp, rest, rest, E, G, fourth, F sharp and B, tie B, A, and then we have G, D, B, D, B, D, rest, E, C, hold, rest. Now we play a sixth up high with a B on the bottom and a G on top. Two, tie, two, three. Okay. Ooh, that was hard. <laughs> if we need to go through that again, if you need to like sort of uh, rewind this and start it back at the beginning uh, where we learned the right hand, that's totally fine. That's the whole point of these lessons is for you to be able to watch and rewatch those sections that are hard. Also, it's good to watch it again and do your pencil, right? Write in some select note names to really help so you can get that feel, okay? Now, rhythmically, you probably noticed I wasn't giving it any sort of lilt. I wasn't giving it that lazy feel because we're learning it at first, right? This is the first time you've ever gone through this. When you have the styling down and you have the left hand and right hand notes and dynamics and tempo down, 
that's when you can start injecting that little bit of a lil. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, right? You can do that when you're much more comfortable with it, okay? Good work, okay. I'm gonna play the right hand the whole song again, but I'm not gonna say any note names and I'm gonna play it a hair faster, okay? So that way you can take the time to go through and follow with your music and feel that rhythm, okay? Let's give it another try. All right, so looking here, rainbow connection. Starting at the beginning with the right hand. Remember, we're starting with the interval of a sixth. So I've got my thumb on D, my pinky on B. All right, here we go. One, two, three, ready, and play. Rest. Rest. Hold, rest. Rest. Hold, rest. It's a great song. It's a nice song when you can finally put it like hands together and it sounds cool. You're gonna feel really accomplished after learning this song. And I just love the words, it's awesome. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. Imagine that. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. It's pretty awesome, huh? I love it, it's like poetry, <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, so now we've gotta learn that left hand line, okay? The left hand is pretty standard um, as far as our, har our harmonic um, intervals. Um, we have some uh, eighth rests to be aware of, um, the occasional sharp here and there, uh, we will be encountering some sevenths as far as our harmonic intervals are concerned. So make a note of those when we encounter them, okay? Let's go through the left hand. You got this. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, left hand, one and three on G and B, okay? Kind of looks like a E position in a way. I've got my pinky down here on the E, okay? Let's begin. One, two, three, ready, and play. Third, two, three, G, two, three. Third, two, three, G, two, three. Third, two, rest, F sharp, fifth, two, three, A and C, two, Three with our first seventh, D and C, two, rest, A, G and B, rest, rest, E, B, 
rest down to C, G, A, D, F sharp and A, rest. G and B, two, rest. F sharp, B and B, two, rest. B, A and C, rest. Rest with the seventh, two, rest. A, G and B, rest, rest. E, B, rest. C, G, A, D, F sharp, rest. Now harmonic fifth on C, two, three, up to a sixth, two, three, up to a seventh, two, three, back to a sixth, two, three, now to a seventh with a B on the bottom, one, two, three, again, same interval, two, three, B, two, up to F sharp, A, two, three, another seventh with A on the bottom, one, two, three, D, G, A, seventh, B on the bottom, two, three, with a fifth, E, B, rest, B, C, and A, rest, rest with a seventh, D, C, hold with our third, two, three, G, two, three, third, rest with a D and a G, two, three, awesome, <laughs> that was great. Fantastic work on that, okay? Now that right there, I feel like it's very grounding, okay? The left hand is, I mean, if you think about it, if it's Kermit with his banjo, the left hand is the log that he's sitting on. It's important, it's part of the story. It gives it that, that campy feel that's so fun with this song. So I enjoyed that quite a bit. I hope you liked that left hand too. Now, um, I wouldn't necessarily call that a really hard left hand in terms of notes, but I would say that rhythmically it can be a little tricky, okay? So when it includes those eighth rests followed by the eighth note as a pickup to the next measure, that can be really hard, okay? So if you want, those little sections where those happen, like I see one here at the end of measure five, and then again at the end of measure, um, five, six, seven, eight, measure eight, between eight and nine, those little sections there, that can be a little hard. So you may wanna extract those phrases, drill them, play them five or six times perfectly, not in a row, unless you wanna play it a hundred times, which is, I mean, if you really want to, you can. But that way you feel confident in those changes, right? And a lot of times they're leading with a sharp or something random like that. So. Just make yourself aware that those will be a little hard to line up with the right hand when the time eventually comes to play hands together, okay? Now, it's a really cool song, so you wanna make sure that harmonically it lines up correctly. This is why I had you really pay attention to the sevenths in this song because they sort of create that tension that the song requires for it to communicate it clearly, okay? So when I ask you to go through and play and circle all your sevenths, harmonic and melodic, that is a good thing to do, okay? You just wanna make yourself aware that those sevenths are there for a reason, okay? They create the tension that is required to communicate the song effectively, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna play that left hand line again all the way through, and I want you to take that pencil, and I want you to circle all your sevenths, harmonic and melodic. So if you hear them one note at a time, that's melodic, circle them too, because that's telling you, it's a visual reminder that you are creating tension on purpose, and you need to stretch your hand a little bit more than what you're used to with playing a sixth, okay? You can do this, all right? Listen very carefully, okay? I may give you a couple vocal cues so you know when the sevenths are coming up, okay? Grab that pencil, get to work. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Rainbow Connection, left hand only. 
I'm not going to say any note names or anything like that. This is on you now, okay? We're going to use this time to discover our sevenths and circle them appropriately, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, ready, and play. Did you keep up? Were you able to circle those sevenths? It can be quite tricky. I did end up saying all of those sevenths. So again, if you need to rewind this and go back and do that with the, the vocal cues that I'm giving you, that's fine. That's the beauty of YouTube, right? You can really, really take advantage of the fact that you can watch things again, okay? So with that, I would love to talk a little bit about the styling of this music, okay? There are select phrases um, that you really need to um, create the, the arc of a slur, okay? And this is very uh, appropriate because the song is called Rainbow Connection. So I need you to connect like a rainbow going across the sky, those phrases to really make it feel effective, right? You don't wanna make it choppy because then it wouldn't really feel like it's being played correctly, right? So include legato phrasing in that, right? You have the arc from the left hand, beginning of the melody, all the way across to the right hand, finishing it, right? So listen. That's one phrase. Why are there so many, right? Not why are there so many. No, it sounds funny like that, right? Why are there so many, right? Yes, you gotta be able to do that, right? Songs about rainbows, right? And what's on the other side? That's a long phrase. You've got tied notes at the end, right? <laughs> so you gotta really communicate that that uh, the phrasing so that it feels like you're literally walking through rainbows, right? Kermit sing to you, you wanna listen, right? Yes. Okay, so styling wise, that's so important. Um, also, dynamics are important too, okay? The beginning is a nice mezzo forte, right? The whole first page is mezzo forte. That's fine, you're comfortable with a mezzo forte. But starting at measure 20 or 21, a little bit of tension is created, right? Because we've got this really interesting fifths, open fifths. There's the tension, right? So right there, it's building in tension. All through this, the measure 25 to 30, that tension is building, right? So we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see, right? And then this is where it begins. Big crescendos, okay? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. And we have an added sharp, 
right there will be called the climax of the song. You see that crescendo building through measures 30, 31, and 32, where it says the lovers, that's the loudest part of the whole song, right? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Right? <laughs> That's Kermit. He's singing and he's so, like, talking about that rainbow connection, right? So give it the, the, the value in the dynamics that it deserves to communicate that message, okay? And it just ends really pretty too. <laughs> There's a slight retardando at the end of this um, arrangement. I like that because it, it signifies to your audience that this is the end of the song. So make sure to slow it down just gradually at the very end, okay? I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> I'm gonna play it all the way through now, okay? We can do this, all right? If you're not ready to play it all the way through with me, that's fine. You can always do it later, okay? When you're ready to show off your rainbow connection, join us on Discord so you can drop your video and I can review and give you some feedback, okay? All right, I'm gonna play it for you. I'm not gonna sing it. You've already heard me sing today, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. The rainbow connection, I love it. <laughs> here we go. back all the way to the 80s right I'm like listening and enjoying little Kermit on that on that log you know singing away and that's cool you know it's a cool song and it really it's one of those timeless songs right it's like a classic children's song I bet it'll bring back a lot of memories for a lot of you so I hope you enjoyed that um, you noticed also I included the lilt right bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Have that be a goal of yours, okay? Play it straight rhythm now as you're learning because that will help um, make this easier. You don't want to start injecting lilt and all this extra rhythmic styling when you haven't fully learned the song yet, okay? But you can do it once you're confident in those notes and the phrasing, okay? That's literally the cherry on top, right? trying that extra lilt in the rhythm, right? All right, my friends, we did great today. I'm so proud of the progress you're making. Literally the coolest thing ever. I love seeing those videos of you guys playing and having a great time at the piano. Uh, it's like, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, right? <laughs> Obviously we have fun together, so. Keep practicing, keep up the good work, and I will see you all soon, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention, Patreon. <laughs> I just realized, I'm like looking at my notes. Patreon, okay, so if you wanna join, I would recommend that, right? So Patreon, let's see if I can get it right there. Patreon! <laughs> Consider joining, right? So, um, I don't know, just pick something that works for you. Five bucks a month, that's fine. That helps, it really, really does. The more people that do it, the longer it can sustain me. 
uh, which is the goal here, right? This is this is what I do for a living. If you uh, want to keep the, these lessons coming on YouTube for free, join my donation uh, list of people, right? All of my patrons that have decided to support me monthly. They're the ones that keep this coming. So I'll see you on Patreon, hopefully. <laughs> And then last, subscribe, right? That's the easiest thing you can do. Uh, you know, that's free. You know, you don't have to pay to hit the button. And it helps my metrics quite a bit on YouTube. So I wanna see you on that subscribers list. You can do it, all right? Thank you so much. All right, my friends. We've concluded their lesson for the rain, the rainbow connection. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was fun. Maybe go pull up the old Muppet movie and like reminisce a little bit. <laughs> I'll see you all on Discord and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Get some practice in. Bye-bye.